All right, it's Unchained Skid with you. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. I don't know whether to classify this as a workout. It's not a bike, it's not a motorcycle. We're going hiking today. It's a hike. So uh, yeah, we're going up to the Chahachapi Mountain Trail. So we're just here at uh, Brother Fudge's place and we're gonna head up from there. So we'll see you in a little bit. All right, here we are up at the trailhead. Vans parked right there. See, and up the Tehachapi Mountain Trail. Well, uh, I ain't no less Stroud, so carrying this selfie stick with me as I go up the trail. Eh, we're not gonna do it for too long. However, uh, less if you have to be watching, you're the man for sure. So we'll dedicate this hike to you. Anyway, uh, we'll uh, bring it up for anything that's good. We'll see you in a little bit. Oh wow, she's a little steep. That's all right. So uh, just to give you a little background on today, Rosamond's got to be about 2,500 feet elevation. It's supposed to hit <clears throat> about 36, 37 degrees there today. Yeah, it's way too hot. Now the trailhead down here, up here I should say, is about 6,000 feet and the summit's supposed to be about 8. So I figure despite the fact I need lots of wind to get up there, that it's going to be a lot cooler. So that's why we're doing that today. Although, my God, I can handle this, but the van getting to that uh, trailhead, well, that took some doing. You could uh, actually smell the transmission fluid. <laughs> anyway, that's all good. Hope you're enjoying the scenery for here. We'll uh, check in a little bit later. So I you have an idea of my ulterior mode of going up here. All right, packed in a bit. A little scenery break. Oh, look at me, look at the scenery. Here's our trail. There, give you the bird's eye view. First person shooter view. Okay, just kidding. Pretty nice. And getting cooler. Some real nice scenery coming up. Yeah, a couple stills of this, I think. I'm not sure, but I think that little lake down there is that uh, Bright Lake Reservoir that I biked to the other day. Pretty cool, huh? Very nice. Very nice. Okay, last stage. You can see, we gotta go another thousand feet up in 0.88 miles. Ooh, let's give her. That's what it looks like. Of course, from a video camera, you can't have any idea of the slope, but suffice it to say, it's tough. All right, talk to you in a bit. Well, yeah, a candy stump here for a little break. Uh, I would estimate for this last little bit, um, hopefully about halfway, I'm not sure, maybe a third. Anyway, I don't know, you can't see a lot of scenery from here, but I'm holding this level with the horizon pretty much, so this will give you an idea of the steepness of the trail. It's not bad, it's not bad. I don't know if that, uh, that'll come through on the video or not. Anyway, I need a little break for a second. I'll wait for about 30 seconds a minute and then we'll get going up to the top. Right. Well, here we are at, uh, I think, the top of the trail. And as warned, at the very end of it is private property. So I guess you could go there if you really wanted to and uh, go say what's up, but we are uh, going to be respectful and not. And I given to understand that just over here, as we press this ridge, is the big view. And this is where we're going to have our lunch, so I think we've made it. Let's go take a look. You can come see the view the same time as me. Oh, oh, starting to open up. Oh my. Yeah. Yeah, that was worth the walk. You know, it didn't take me that long to actually get up that last little part. Under half an hour. 
is great. Oh my. A few trees. I'll tell you what, instead of seeing my ugly mug, let's let you take a look. How's that, hmm? I just get myself here. There we go. Need a few stills of this. Here, let me back up just a bit so you can see some more of the valley. There's some trees in the way. Not bad, eh? That's the valley where I think uh, Highway 202 goes onwards to Bakersfield and then eventually to the coast. Up here, there's some rocks and maybe a little bit of shade. Maybe a snake or two. I think we're gonna have us some lunch. Persig wisely said once that the only Zen that you find on mountaintops is the Zen you bring with you. And my brother definitely signs off on that. And I sign off on that too. Really nothing so special about this place. It's very pretty. It's got a nice view. But the cool part is being here. I don't know if that's profound or not. I'm a little hypoxic. It's 8,000 feet up here. Anyway, that's the top. That's where I'm going to have lunch. Sign off for now. All right. Well, we've had uh, had some lunch and checked on our feet, which are surprisingly doing quite well. My desert boots on. And uh, yeah, just chilling out up here. I don't know if I have anything supremely... Uh, Profound to say, <clears throat> it's really nice being here. I don't know how Les does it. I mean, he comes up places like this and with hardly anything and survives and films the whole thing. It's like, holy moly. It's hard just to even do this on a hike. So again, my hat's off to you, Les. Survivor man, by the way, look his stuff up. Yeah, I uh, very, very thankful to be here. So when I say it's nice to be here, I mean it. I, I don't mean it facetiously. It's it's fantastic to be here. Have lunch, looking out over there. You know, like I say, that's the down there. That's the lake that I biked to the other day. That's uh, Bright Lake uh, Rec area. It's uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I can always edit this out, I suppose, but just thought I'd share being up here with you a little bit. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful day, Southern California, Tehachapi Mountain. Oh, and uh, in the sun, it's a little bit hot, but uh, I'd say the air temperature is probably very high 20s, like 28, 29 maybe. But it's not 37, so winning. I might even have a nap up here because I really don't want to go back into the heat. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> we'll catch up with you on the way down, unless I come up with something else to say. Well, time to head down, I suppose. Just one last look at this beautiful view. Maybe I'll make a screensaver <laughs> of this when I'm sitting there in the deep darks of winter here, which honestly isn't that far away. How's that look? That's kind of silly. This is a nice smile. Alright, let's get going down this crazy trail. This part's easy, but you'll see in a second. It gets nuts. Alright, so here we go. You can't really see it, but it drops down. So, I'm going to put this away. I get every possibility of tripping on the way down here. So, catch you in a little bit. All right, well, the camera's kind of sort of on my chest-ish. We'll see if it'll uh, give you an idea of what we're up to here. Just a little bit. They catch me tripping down here. Yeah, it's uh, it was hard getting up. Looks like it's gonna be hard getting down too. Yeah. 
If it was any more, it'd be scrambling. So yeah, I won't bore you to tears with this, but just want to give you an idea. All right, off. Hey, we made it down the really hard part. So here we are, going for that uh, last part. Now let's just see for a second. <clears throat> that was about a thousand feet up there. So that was about 300 meters, give or take. I weigh about 90 kilograms, give or take. Let's just say mass, 90 kilograms. And at 10 meters per second squared of gravity, basically that comes to, let's see, 300 times 90 is going to be uh, 2700, 27,000. And then uh, times 10 is 270,000. Very cool. Uh, so that's uh, joules, 270,000 joules. I'm going to put that in calories. Uh, we're going to be big C calories. So we're going to divide by 1,000 to start with this 270. I can't remember if we divide by 4.8 or times by 4.8 to get to calories. Uh, probably if it's divide, then that was all of about, uh, let's see, public mass, 70, 70 calories to go up that hill. If it's times, then it would be uh, 270 times about 1,000, 1,000 calories. It was, it was probably divide. Anyway, I'm, I'm still kind of hypoxic, so just forgive me. I'll, I'll correct it on putting the thing by looking it up later. I should get going. There you guys, missed uh, this view on the way up. I was too busy trudging along. That must be the uh, the uh, west end of Tehachapi there. You can do some biking in and around there, I think. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, where that valley goes down there. Yeah. Cool. This what you can see. Well, here we are again, uh, down at this lookout. Yeah, almost there. I gotta tell you, coming down is way worse on the feet and legs than going up was. Oh my god. All that energy's gotta go somewhere. Mostly into the blisters, into my feet, and in my quads. All right, see you in the bottom. Okay, so we're almost back, but I just wanted you to see something really weird. See this, uh, this huge tree right here? It's clearly still alive. Uh, pine, I believe. So look how high up that thing goes, all right? Come around here and take a look. It's been hollowed out one way or the other. And in fact, if you see, it's been burned. There was some kind of fire in there, maybe a forest fire or something like that a while ago, burned the hole inside. But this tree is still kicking. It's clearly still alive at the top. Wild, eh? Yes, uh, I don't know if there's a metaphor in there. It's just really cool that this tree's still going. All right, down to the bottom. And we can say, yay, we're back at the van. Go down to the trail. There's the stuff there. And back at the van. All right, of course. There's a little more to the story, isn't there? Anyway, let's get in and get ready. A few nice people on the trail. Really nice. And up we go. Anyway, uh, that was super fun. Like, holy cow. Got some blisters, uh, Mount Falk, uh, boots fitting coming down. It was a very aggressive uh, vertical, which uh, no problems going up, but uh, definitely uh, some issues coming down. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I took a wrong turn somewhere where I just kept going with what the other trail was and ended up uh, kind of in the wrong place, but that's okay. We uh, got back there. You gotta understand that all around here, uh, like the trailhead isn't in the middle of nowhere. This is actually a campground. So like people pay to, to stay here. So there's little roads and switchbacks all over the place here. So yeah, we got there and uh, we had it, like I say, that's about uh, 6,000 feet to start and then 8,000 feet at the top, so it's good. We're already warming up down here. It's uh, it's above 30 degrees for sure. Well, maybe pretty close. Anyway, uh, I'll sign off for now, and uh, we'll say hi when we're back at uh, Brother Fudge's ranch there. I'll see uh, if I can get this turned off here. This is a, a very small little mountain road.
even though I'll put it later, is what really happened. Here's me coming at the van from over there. Yay, back to the van. Made it down the trail. Of course, you might ask, why am I on this side? Why indeed?